Now families figuring out what is next after fire destroyed their home. It burned Sunday morning, leaving a man, his mother-in-law, and his six grandchildren homeless. KY3's Eric Hilt has more on why the family is looking on the bright side. Eric? Stephen Lee's family members lost almost everything, from clothes to appliances, but they're just thankful that nobody was killed. This was my grandpa's room right here. A decade's worth of memories burned to the ground. It, it is a house. It was a home where we all grew up. On Sunday, that home where Leon Search took care of his six grandkids and his mother-in-law caught fire. Good grief, it was, it was a bad fire. When the fire started Sunday morning, the only person in the home was Leon's mother-in-law. Thankfully, people at a nearby church saw the smoke and rushed to help the elderly woman out of the house. Thank God for that. She's, you know, elderly, crippled, and disabled, and just really didn't have very much mobility. By the time Leon and his grandkids got back to the house, it was already swallowed up by the fire. Shoot, it just puts you in shock. Still in shock about it. Good grief. I mean, it's, I still haven't absorbed the fact that it's gone. The house is a total loss. Furniture, clothes, appliances, all burned up. What do you, you know, what do you do? You don't know how to prepare for it. You know, you, I mean, you hear about, about it happening all the time, but you really doesn't, don't give it that much thought it happening to you until it actually does. But Leon and his family say what's important is that nobody was killed and now they're searching for a new place to stay where they can make new memories. We don't have any of the home videos or anything like that left but we have each other so we have a lifetime to make them. Now the family is getting help from the Red Cross who have provided money and a place to stay and some money for clothes. The fire department does not know the cause of that fire just yet. Thanks, Eric. Help tonight. And now to weather where we have yet another sweltering day on tap for tomorrow. Abby Dyer.